75% of adult drug court graduates never see another pair of cuffs. This statistic, according to the National Association of Drug Court Professionals, proves that drug courts work. Whether you know or have known someone addicted to drugs or alcohol is a serious problem today. A report from Dr. Kim Taylor showed that 23 million Americans are addicted to drugs or alcohol as of 2010. That is nearly 1 in 10 Americans over the age of 12. Drug courts is a highly effective alternative for drug addicted, drug addicted individuals and the criminal justice system. After researching numerous articles and reports, this is why drug courts work. I will start by telling you what drug courts are. The purpose of drug courts is to keep drug addicted individuals out of jail and treatment to reduce crime and drug use. According to the book General Theory of Crime by Michael Gofferson, to be eligible for drug courts, you must be 18 and live in the city that offers this treatment. Another requirement is that you have no violent offenses on record. Gofferson says that most people chosen for this treatment are repeat drug offenders. There is a basic setup of how the treatment is given. In, 2000, in a 2011 article by Rebecca Tiger, she states that drug courts can last a year to 18 months, and during this time, users are under extreme supervision, are tested frequently and randomly, and must make frequent court appearances to have their progress judged, says Tiger. If any procedures are broken, like a failed drug test, they are immediately taken and sentenced under the original crime. And uh, this picture is just like how you can fail in the punishment for failing the drug court system. Lastly, the effect of drug courts today. A large study done by Eric Savini showed that the war on drugs has greatly increased incarcerations, which has led way to the first drug court in 1989. Today, there are nearly 2,500 programs in every state, says Savini. Now that I've explained what drug courts are, I will tell you how offenders benefit from them. Drug addicted offenders are benefited in several ways. Drug courts help the people get the treatment that they need. And after treatment, if they complete it, they can get back on their feet and get actual jobs. If they have families or kids, it reunites them with their family again. An article in 2005 by Beth Belquet, a man named Huff said, quote, I was so addicted to the drugs that I would do anything to get the money for them. And after his treatment, he credited his sobriety to the drug court system. Belquet also said that he was a repeat offender and he finally got the help that he needed to break his addiction. After he graduated, Belquet added that he got a, for his first real job in over 20 years. From the Des Moines Register, in Iowa alone, over 1,100 people have graduated from the drug court system. Aside from individuals have, who have an addiction, there are many advantages for the criminal justice system by using drug courts. The justice system benefits by keeping inmates from returning to jail. By keeping the offenders out of jail, the justice system and taxpayers both save money. Beliquet stated in her article that the cost of drug courts for one year is $2,500 versus $23,000 a year and to keep a prisoner in jail. That was in 2005. This number keeps growing today. Today is about $31,000 per year to keep a prisoner in jail. According to the NADCP, every $1 invested in drug courts, taxpayers save around $3.30. Drug courts also reduce the recidivism rate, which is a person's relapse back into criminal behavior. The NADCP claim that 75% of graduates remain arrest-free for at least two years, and some never go back to jail again. They also say that drug courts reduce crime as much as 45% more than other sentencing alternatives, like spending time in prison. Now that I've explained what drug courts are and the benefits of them, I will conclude this analysis. Drug abuse is a very serious part of society today, and if nothing happens to help prevent it, it will only get worse. And if you know someone struggling with an addiction, try to find help for them or encourage them to enter treatment. And drug courts is just one way to prevent or to break addiction.